distinguished uh, members of the press. I want to first of all thank you for all your support throughout this our journey, uh, which has been a very, very tough one. It wasn't an easy one, but uh, you've been very, very supportive, uh, you know, for us to get to where we are, you know, today. Today is a very, very special uh, day, which I think Nigeria has not uh, produced petrol, which is gasoline, uh, for very, very many years. But I, I uh, stand with you today. I would like to salute the people of Nigeria and the government of President Ame Bola Tunubu for creating the environment for us to thrive and also achieve this monumental task of giving energy to our people for growth, development, and prosperity. I think this has been really, really a very, very great, uh, you know, move. And I think I want to personally also thank uh, Mr. President, President Bola Ahmed Tunubu for creating this uh, idea of Naira for crude and also uh, Naira for the product. Uh, doing that, it will give a lot of stability for the Naira, you know, where now you remove 40% of the uh, demand of uh, dollars uh, in the market, and uh, that will actually stabilize the market. But that's not it. As you know, there is quite a lot of what you call round tripping, where people now do documentation, and the fuel does not come into Nigeria, and this is a fact. So right now, as we have this uh, refinery working, it will show the true consumption of Nigeria. We can track every single loaded trucks, and we will try as much as possible to track the uh, loaded ships. Uh, trucks, we can tell you where they are. Just like now, in some of the products that we do, we can tell you exactly the consumption pattern and co. But that is a discussion for another day. Today's discussion is just to celebrate and to thank God Almighty for bringing us to this uh, stage of now producing pet uh, uh, gasoline. And I know that a lot of people have not actually believed that we'll be able to deliver, but we've been able to deliver. I must really thank, uh, most especially, Mr. DVG Edwin, who is the Vice President of Oil and Gas for having sleepless nights for no vacation in the last uh, seven years. He's been to vacation only once. And, uh, you know, thank our Vice President also, Mr. Kule Alake, for making sure that everything was perfect the finances are also in order to be able to meet up with this challenge. And, uh, you know, on the commercial side, Fatima, I must thank you also for doing a great job. Congratulations. Uh, but most especially what I keep saying is that we must thank the president and also the government for making this possible. Without their support, there's no way we'll be where we are. Uh, so we thank them, and I hope this uh, refinery will actually change the entire dynamics, not only in Nigeria, but in sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, the capacity that we have will not only meet up with the Nigeria's demand, will meet up the demand of the sub-Saharan uh, Africa at least. So we thank you very much for your support. We will now take you. You can see that this is the sample. Uh, this is the sample of the, uh, you know, petrol. It might be a little bit, uh, you know, uh, you see it like a different uh, color. But that's the real, uh, this, you know, so you are now going to have, uh, you know, uh, good petrol where the engines of your vehicles will last longer.
you will not you will not uh, be having uh, an engine uh, issue, you know, which a lot of us were having. You know, uh, it won't happen uh, at all. The quality here will match that of quality of anywhere in the world, U.S., America. We will make sure that nobody will beat us in terms of uh, quality. So thank you very much. It's not, uh, you know, it's a celebration day. And also to give thanks to, uh, you know, Almighty God, to give thanks to Mr. President, to give, uh, you know, and also some friends that, uh, you know, they've been very, very supportive in making sure that, yes, they push us, you know, uh, give us sleepless nights to make sure that, yes, we don't disappoint them. This refinery produces, uh, you know, uh, gasoline. So we are now here. So thank you very much for all your support. We now go to the gantry where you see the loaded trucks. And as soon as we finalize with, uh, you know, uh, the NMPC, um, our products will start going into the market. And, uh, you know, again, like what I said today, we actually help to restore industry and manufacturing. We will begin real import substitution, which is what we have, you know, saving our nation foreign exchange and also earning foreign exchange, which will start stabilize the Naira, like what I said earlier on, you know, and it will also help bring down uh, inflation and cost of living. So by the grace of Almighty God, all of us will be proud of what we have done. And uh, we are very, very determined to do all this. Thing. And let me assure you of one thing. We have what you call the, uh, you know, demand of polypropylene. Uh, there's a demand of polypropylene in the country. Nigeria from October will not import any more polypropylene, which used to be about a quarter of a million tons. No more imports of polypropylene. We will satisfy the market 100%. All these industries that are struggling and uh, having to go and look for, uh, you know, currency they will not get. They have to keep stock of four or five months because it's not easy shipping, clearing, and whatever. So today they can be buying as they need. So that will reduce their cost of this. We are also in the business. And our demand also as Dangote is huge. We have Dangote packaging, we are, I think, one of the biggest demand, uh, I mean, user of uh, polypropylene. So thank you very much, and uh, let's go to the gantry.